Hey guys, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. Now, this next mission can be hard-ish. It's not too bad, as long as you get a good start. We do have to cheese walls uh, in this mission. Otherwise, it's kind of hard. There are actually two good ways that I've, uh, I've seen to complete this level. I did watch a video a long time ago of someone completing it in six minutes by using quite a cool strategy, uh, which I'll explain later on. I'm not going to use that strategy because it's a little bit cheaty. In fact, it's extremely cheaty. However, it's very interesting. Anyway, let's continue. Yugoslavia. This is what it's all about. We've cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. <laughs> nice mugshot. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Kind of looks like a dick. That Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. No, I see. It's not a help. The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the ion cannon, mm -hmm. the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of eight to one. It's an awesome weapon, the most powerful in our arsenal. Mm -hmm. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Right you are, boss. Right you are. Yes, the iron cannon. Eh, not really that good, to be honest. Much better in later games. Much better. Abort current mission? Hell. Must be important. Fucking love the music in this game, too. Right, now, very, 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 very fucking important that we need to get moving straight away. Right, we're going to move everything over here. And we need to take this bottom area for ourselves. I remember being a kid and being stuck on this mission. It was... I think I actually ended up looking up a strategy guide eventually. For it, but... And strategy guides back then were no trivial thing to come across. Uh, my friend actually had a really good strategy guide for this game that he got from PC Gamer, I think. Alright, we need to get everybody in this little corner here. And we are hurting our men, but that's fine. Now, unfortunately, the enemy R Harvester is in the area, so be advised. Let's get you in the corner. And we're going to cheese sandbags straight away. We need to get our rocket guys out of the way. We need to lean on our armor. Now, obviously, if we accidentally hit the tanks, or the harvester, I should say, we're going to have a bad time. So we need to do this as quick as we can. But we also need to uncover to see where the... Frick, we've got to build this wall. Very interesting choke point right here. Tiny, tiny. It doesn't matter too much if we lose him. Okay. Let's get our men up here somewhere where they can actually provide some kind of defense. Now, this doesn't completely block the enemy off. They can still come at us. And they will. This just chokes them a little bit and on this level we need every freaking advantage we can get because the enemy has two bases they have an infantry base and they have a armor uh, base and they will literally pour men out now this doesn't cut off their supply of Tiberium either because they have plenty but it does give us access to a huge amount, and we are going to need it. This mission is extremely bloody expensive to fund. Yeah, you can see that harvest is coming this way, but it will... It should reroute, but it doesn't matter anyway, because they have more. Of course they have more. Come on. Come on. See, this is what they're throwing at us in the beginning. This is nothing. 
and these guys will continuously pour out. You literally do not have a chance. They choke you to death. Construction complete. Building. Come on, guys, get these rockets working. Looks like we're not going to be in time to stop the next wave. That's fine. Look how badass mammoth tanks are. They are brutal. Construction complete. Now, all we have to do in this mission is destroy one enemy building. Right, we're good. We're good. That's interesting. That's actually not good. The fact that that harvester is there. A lot of accidents can happen. And not happy accidents either. So that's fine. Let's start building up our base. We've got plenty of Tiberium here. But we will burn through it very, very, very fast. If we're not careful. Our baseline strat for this mission. Is some Orcas. And Mammoth Tanks. Because Mammoth Tanks, yo. We're going to rock their world. But like I say, Mammoth Tanks are not the be-all and end-all that you might think they are. Powerful, yes. But certainly not indestructible. Not like they were in Tiberian Sun. Although, I was never a super fan of uh, Mammoth Tanks in uh, Tiberian Sun. They weren't really Mammoth Tanks, they were like uh, giant AT-ATs from Star Wars. And you could only ever have one of them. But they were brutal. Proper brutal. We are going to double that wall up in a minute anyway. Because we're going to create a kill zone. Let's get our economy going. Now we can actually... Get some speed going. What we will do... Let's save the game. Cool. I had a mini heart attack then, I thought I looted it instead. I was like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Wouldn't be the first time. You can see the sneaky little son of a bitch has put some artillery there. They are transfixed on something. Not sure what unit they're locked onto there, but it doesn't matter. They are choked. For now. But they can still come round from here. Let's get a barracks because we can. And pump out a war factory, which my good friend H has mentioned that I always call it a war factory. Even though in this game it of course is not, it's a weapons factory. As you can see, they can still attack us. It just stems the tide, makes it a little bit more manageable. And by a little bit more manageable, okay. I mean very much more manageable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that dude is literally like standing in a little patch of Tiberium. He's like, this is mine. He wants to become a mutant. One of the forgotten. Which we'll find out a little bit more about in the next game. Uh, stick our weapons factory there. War factory, weapons factory, either or. Potato, potato. Uh... Should we get another? No, I think we're fine with two harvesters for now. But we do need a comms tower. Silos needed? You mean weapons needed. That's what I, I assume you meant. Because silos are for suckers. What we could do... Pump out a Humvee just so we can explore the map a little bit. We're going to build that bad boy. Uh, I thought that was going to happen. We can get advanced power plants now. I think they produce like two and a half times the power or something. Might actually just be double the power. There's this village up here that we can destroy, but there's no point. It doesn't actually contain anything. I've tried destroying the church. Um, not because I'm an atheist. But because sometimes there are loot boxes in them. But not on this level. Let's get our advanced comm tower going. Now, the good thing about the advanced comm tower is not only does it give you an iron cannon, which, eh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the iron cannon. To be fair, the uh, nuke isn't that great either that Nod uses. It's better than the iron cannon, but it's not, it's not fantastic. Got another patch of Tiberium up here. But the iron cannon is 
proper, proper weak. Now, there should be flame tanks, yeah. Run! Nope, he's done. Game over, man. Game over. That is such a pain in the ass that that's there. But I suppose you might as well have the iron cannon. There's no point in not having it. Now we've got that, we can actually sell that. Let's also get another advanced power plant. Get out of there, guys. Uh, get rid of that Tiberium that's, like, in our base. When I tested this mission, I had three uh, harvesters going. Get rid of that. Um, which was okay. We had like a nice amount of money coming in, Building. but it did um, have its own problems. Like we really stripped the place clean. We were strip mining. Yes, sir. We got more tanks coming in. Yes, sir. Construction. Ready to repel borders. Uh. Eh. Whatever. Building. Now these MLRSs, they're actually, they're only 800, which is interesting, because they are so useful. They're not great, like, they can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything, apart from maybe another um, enemy artillery piece. But, they eat infantry for breakfast and buildings. I think they're very reasonably priced, actually, for the firepower that you get. But they are so squishy. Whoa, we need to be bloody careful, because these guys do have a deceptively large range that I always freaking forget about, and they will auto-target enemy harvesters, which uh, I don't need to tell you, at this point in the game, is not good. Alright, let's get that. Once we've built the uh, repair bay, we should have access to mammoths, and then we can start amassing our um, attack wave. But we are going to soften these guys up a little bit. Now, unfortunately, we don't get artillery um, airstrikes on this level. Even if we do destroy all of the SAM sites, which is a bit of a pain. Because I personally think the airstrike is much better than the iron cannon. But that's just me. Let's go poke the hornet's nest. In a minute. Yes, sir. That is some serious artillery right there. Iron cannon ready. Construction I can demonstrate the iron cannon a little bit. Oh, that's always satisfying. Yeah, the iron cannon is basically good against infantry. Yes, Not that good against anything else. Ah! Alright, start pumping out the mammoths now. Yes. Mammoths are so good. I want to say mammoths are bay, but uh, no. My significant other says that quite a lot, and it's just yeah. All right, let's make it rain, baby. We need to get rid of these sams. Bless her. Even she hates it and she says it all the time. Yes, Alright. Let's get some rockets in there. Yum yum. Feed them some rocket delight. Oh, the humanity. Alright, let's get you over there. Fuck you. But you can see that because rocket launchers in this game are kind of inaccurate. They uh, don't destroy things that fast. Can we get range on that gun turret? I wonder. We can, but they're not great at taking it out. Alright, let's get the rocket guys down here. Although they are locked. Nope, that's good. Go patch yourself up, bro. Anyone else damaged? Yeah, you all damaged. <laughs> nice. I love the rockets on the mammoths. It's so fun. Access denied. Ah, oh, another great track. All 
Alright, roll forward, guys. Now, this is what you call a defense. Iron cannon ready, you say? Well. Uh, not bad. They shouldn't really. I mean, they might attack us with a lot of stuff, but we should be able to repel it. Let's get rid of that harvester. Now, actually, getting rid of that harvester will help them out. Because they won't build another harvester, even though that one's stuck. But if we destroy it, they will. And obviously, that will give them access to more money. So, we're actually doing them a solid here. But fuck those guys. Not scum! Yeah, you can see how inaccurate the rockets are. See how close they get as well. It's like, seriously, guys. Oh, engineer run. I forgot, the enemy will do an engineer run here. On this mission. And they will fuck you up with those engineers, too. Look how angry that's made them. That was the matter, guys. Don't like your harvesters being attacked. Aww. Let's thin the herd. Now, before we start thinning the herd, let's use a little bit of our brain power here. Alright, pull back, guys. Because if they accidentally destroy that, that's literally opening the floodgates. And although we'll be able to hold that kind of attack back, especially with all these mammoths, we will take a lot of damage and it will set our attack back. We don't want to set our attack back. Time is money, yo. Uh, I think I'll go for a triple layer. Uh, you know what? Double layer should do. Right. Let's get some... Let's get some dudes ready. Let's make it rain, guys. Just thin the herd. Now this is why I love the rockets. And the artillery in, in general, to be honest. You can really fuck them up with these. I'm very surprised they didn't destroy that. Look at this firepower. Iron cannon ready, do you say? Yeah, they're so fucked up right now. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Alright, everyone, move up. That'll do. Nice. Cool. Now, what we could do... Because we are going to need these. Let's get some walkers. We could get another couple of Humvees and go exploring as well. What would we like for power? We're alright for power. Ah, we need money though. Damn it! Who would have thought to build a powerful military force you need money? Building. Who would have thought? Um, might be worth investing in a third half set, I guess. But we should be alright. We'll make do for now. We've got a lot of projects on the go. There's plenty of Tiberium up here. There's also more of it up here as well. Wow, wow. Let's give it a save. Because I have had this crash on me. Only a couple of times when I'm actually playing. Uh, it does crash a lot when you're uh, going through the menus. But when you're actually in a game, it seems to be okay. I say a lot. That's a little bit unfair. It doesn't crash a lot, but... <sighs> it's not uncommon, put it that way. Which is a real pain in the ass when you're trying to record. Naturally. You know. Construction complete. Construction complete. Building. Building. Yeah, we kind of are pushing our resource limit here. Let's Um Trouble is if we build any more harvesters, we're just going to burn through these resources s too fast. We want to synchronize our iron cannon 
with our Orca attack as well Building. for maximum damage. On hold. Let's cancel, cancel that for now. Building. Fuck it. Let's pump out another Harvester. Because we need that cash and what we can do as well. Speed things up a little bit. There's ahead. such a huge difference between um, construction complete. Like the second fastest speed and the fastest speed. Building. Let's get a couple of hummers. Construction complete. Building. Go explore. Construction complete. Right, uh, I think eight hawkers, hawkers, orcas should do us. Six is usually a good number, but six isn't enough to destroy most buildings. Seven will get most things done, but eight, nothing can survive it. And if you're sending in a airstrike, you you really need it to take out everything on one run. Because otherwise the enemy's going to repair and you've got to send them in again against the same Sams and yeah, it gets, it gets expensive. Construction Although it's expensive to build eight, Building. believe it or not, it's more financially wise. Yes, we like fear and suspicion around here. So we've got a tip tree, another tip tree here. Hey guys! Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. <laughs> burn, motherfucker, burn. Oh, shit. You sneaky bastard. That was my fault entirely. Right, let's get you patched up. Back into combat. Right, let's go poke the nest. Construction complete. Yep. Thought that was gonna happen. Oh, how interesting. Fascinating. Right, don't get don't get lasered. Sweet! Right, get back home. Building. Let's get another recon. No, you fucking moron! What is your major malfunction, buddy? If you don't make it home, that is your fault. Your fault I'm sending a black letter home. Dick. Right, go sit on that. You don't need silos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Construction complete. Building on hold. Cancelled. In fact, we shouldn't really need the Building. recon team anymore. Yes, sir. Fly boys ready to go. Select target. Ion Let's get rid of that. Ha ha! Good night! Building. Now, I don't know if they're going to replace that. Let's get our armored division to advance. Let's get, how many have we got? We've got six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get ten mammoths. Construction complete. Because in our world, ten is the magic number. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right, boys, let's go. That's interesting. They're not actually building that back. Why? They've got money, because you can see it in there. Um... Those flamers flamed themselves. Like the best trolls. Oh, where are these guys going? No, 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 no. Did I select those by accident? I may have. I'm stupid like that. Ah, I see. Oh, that's the only tib left. All right. Let's make sure we maintain dominance over this tip field then. You fucking morons! Honestly! If you had brain cells, you'd be dangerous. Right, go harvest that. 
Once we've cleared... No, this is going to be a problem. Pathfinding in this game yes, is no awful. Yes, Alright, go sit over there and suck your fucking thumb. Think yes, about what you did. Alright. Let's go. Moving Actually, out. iron cannon's ready. Alright, as long as the iron cannon's ready. Okay. Let's roll into this base. Come on, guys. Push forwards. Push forwards. Take it out. Alright, nice. Nice. Shit. Get rid of that fucking thing. Man, they do some serious damage. Right. Retreat, guys. Pull back! Pull back! I guess we're going to lose all of these guys. That was ex incredibly unfortunate. I don't think so, pal. Oh, no. Now that's cool. Right, we did kind of lose almost everything, but the damage has been done. So what we can do now... Open the way. Yeah, they've got Sam's there, but that's fine. Guys, dump your loads. And get ready. Iron cannon ready. Iron cannon ready, you say? Excellent. Okay, so let's get an engineer. Building. Yeah, let's go take that. Building. Construction complete. Select target. Get rid of you. We need to move over to this base now. And make it ours. Need to take that turret out, and then we have pretty much full dominance over here. Have we not got that. Come on, build the engineer. Stop fucking around, you. Dump your load. Go harvest. Yeah, go harvest. We can lean on our air units if we have to. Reporting. Moving out. Yes, sir. Move these guys up. Really need to remove that. You know what? Yes, sir. Might actually be worth it. There we are. Good stuff. Well done, man. Yes, not building capture. Yes, Moving out. And then what we can do? Building. Get a barracks up here, and we we'll take all of this. Because we need it more than they do. Building. Unit ready. Building. Reporting. Unit out. ready. Wait not building. All right, he's fine. Ion cannon ready. Yes, sir. Building. Unit ready. Not building, capture. Select target. Iron cannon. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Building. So yeah, the iron cannon is more of a surgical Ready. thing, really. I mean, it's all right. Ready, building. Ready and moving out. Yes, Not sir. building, moving capture. Out. Yes, sir. Unit. Ready. Yes, sir. Not right building, away. capture. Right, nice. Not Waiting building, order. capture. Roger. Now, they don't really have anything to fight us off with, so in theory, we should be able to just roll them over. Good night. Dude, do your job, man. There we go. Yes, sir. Ah, you're fine. Don't even need to use up. Don't even need to use up. Yes, sir. 
Alright, they've got no defensive capabilities left once this turret's gone. Nice. Actually, you know what? Don't attack it. Don't, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Primary building selected. Building. Don't Unit even bother, ready. guys. Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. We're just going to take the whole Unit bloody ready. lot for ourselves. Unit ready. This mission is building. basically a wrap now, anyway. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Go. And they've repaired it for us as well. It's nice of them. Not building captured. Not building captured. Not building captured. Excellent. Not building captured. Two more engineers and we're good to go. Look at all the money we have. Our silos are actually full. Not building captured. Ooh, haha. Smoke those bastards coming in. They were gonna drop down there. Right, we're good to go, guys. Now, the actual target that we've got to destroy is up here. And all you have to do to finish this mission is destroy this. And it's undefended as well. Not even any SAM sites or anything around here. So, the quick strat that I saw to do this was basically. When you start the game, you put all of your men up here, um, and you block this off. You build up a quick base to the point where you can build um, um, orcas. And you build about six orcas, or seven orcas. Uh, you have to build up, then sell the buildings that you don't need to have space for the orcas. And then you just attack this. Mission done in about seven minutes. Yes, sir. So yeah, very, very quick, easy mission, really. Once you kind of know what you're doing, anyway. Building. Construction complete. Why didn't you just, like, land on the pad that's clearly available for you, sir? Yes, sir. Go do it. Good fucking night, boys. <laughs> I like that camera just looking at the bombs coming down, just perfectly angled. Mwah. Two hours, 29 minutes, apparently. And that was not bad. Whoa, look at the KD there. Holy shit. 35. And we had a lot of money left over as well. Nice. Right. Uh, so. Actually, let's go get the next part of the intro. Intro for the next mission. Yeah, this is usually... If it's going to crash, it crashes here. Hmm. I thought that was the last mission. Evidently not. Hmm. I have pushed back a little bit. So, what have we got here? Back to Yugoslavia. I owe you an apology, Commander. I got it wrong. Mm. Kane ducked out of the lab when he lost our satellite feed. He's slippery, but his days are numbered. If you say so. His troops are squeezing through this ravine right here, apparently in an attempt to regroup with Prime HQ. If you're quick enough, you can pick off the entire Nod column as they roll through, mm -hmm. while our field strategists plot the location of that main base. It's fish in a barrel time, Commander. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a little bit more to this mission than that, but sure. So, when we come back, folks... Uh, when we come back, I guess it's fish in a barrel time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always... Till next time.